today we're going to talk about the City Skylines 2 DLCs, whether that is the expansion packs, creator content, content creator packs, the new version sets, and full full on expansions. The first half of this video is going to be talking about what we already know and then speculating off of what they have told us. And then the second half of the video is going to be talking about my ideas for DLC. And so it's going to be a lot of like, well, what if we got this? And kind of like crossing our fingers and seeing what comes true, what doesn't. Um, also like kind of like testing the vibe. What do y'all want to see in a DLC pack? I also want to add my like credentials. They're not like that strong per se. Maybe I'm understating it. I don't know. I do currently work in the games industry. I am a designer and I have previously studied game design as well. I don't know how much weight that gives my speculations. <laughs> I feel like I do provide an angle that some other creators might not necessarily have because a lot of City Skylines YouTubers are actual city planners. So they have a perspective I don't have and then I have a perspective I feel like they don't have. So yeah, before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button because most of my viewers are not actually subscribed to the channel, but I know you all like the videos, so might as well subscribe. I'll be releasing a new video every single week following each dev diary, so if you haven't seen that series yet, be sure to check it out. And yeah, let's get into it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start off strong. Let me just show you, this is what we know already from the City Skylines 2 website. October 24th, we will be getting the base game, obviously that's when it, the game launches, as well as the San Francisco set, which I believe is an instant unlock for the Ultimate Edition. But yeah, that's coming on October 24th. Then Q4 of 2023, we have Beach Properties Asset Pack, and then we have the Deluxe Relax uh, Radio Station. Q1 of 2024, we have Urban Promenades, Modern Architecture, both are content creator packs, and Soft Rock Radio Station. Q2 of 2024, we get Bridges and Ports Expansion Pack, and the Cold Wave Channel for the radio station. There's a lot to say here. Um, so firstly, the San Francisco set, all right? They're calling it a set. They're not calling it an expansion pack. They're not calling it a content creator pack. And I have a lot to say on content creator packs as well and like, what can we expect? But because they're calling it a set, I don't think the San Francisco set is going to be a theme as we've seen in the UI menus where we can see that there's like the American flag and then um, the European flag to showcase like the different themes there. I don't think it's gonna be like that. It seems like too uh, specific and granular to be its own theme. So what I am expecting is some unique buildings from San Francisco. Maybe we'll get some growable styles. Because it's not a theme, I don't really know how much control we will have over new growable buildings. But I definitely feel like we will see some growable row homes, likely like mid-density residential, maybe some new vehicle models for the trams. I definitely think we will be getting new vehicle models for trams. That like seems like a no-brainer to me. I mean, that's like classic San Francisco. Obviously, the Golden State Bridge. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what else. But yeah, that's what I'm, I'm kind of thinking for San Francisco. Bad news, boys. After I started recording this video and editing it, it has been brought to my attention that we actually do have the information on what is going to be in these packs. And so I'm not gonna delete anything I've recorded, but I will let you know what we're actually getting after my speculation. And we'll see if I'm right. But yeah, the bad news is that for San Francisco, we are only getting muscle car garage, five different muscle car models and a police vehicle. And it says that these will spruce up our bustling beach city. So maybe we're gonna get some citizen models actually going to beaches. I don't know. We are getting the Golden Gate Bridge, which I think was pictured on their website. So that's kind of like expected and a San Francisco map. And this set, the San Francisco set is only available if you buy the expansion pass. And then for Q4 of 2023, we get the Beach Properties Content Creator Pack. Now for Content Creator Packs, I'm also like not exactly sure what to expect. I do not think Content Creator creator packs are going to be full on themes, but I also feel like kind of like how I feel at San Francisco, if they're going to give us some new styles, then I would hope we have some way of controlling where these new buildings spawn. But I do anticipate that we're going to get growable low, mid and high density residential. I think we will get those like beach themed commercial buildings. I mean, that's like kind of my hope. I really don't know if like I'm expecting too much out of it. It'd be cool if we also got some beach activities. Uh, and, and actually, I don't really mean the park lots like beach volleyball, although I do think that will come with beach properties. But I'm hoping that there will be some sort of free update where our citizens will actually like walk onto the beaches that we have on our map. Because in City Skylines 1, we did not have that. Although I do think there was a workshop mod that allowed that. But yeah, I think that would be cool. I also think as a free update alongside beach properties launch, getting boardwalks would be amazing. There has never been really a good way of doing a boardwalk. That would be really great. Before I continue talking about boardwalks and what I expect alongside that, let's go over what 
what the Steam store says. It actually doesn't say too much for this, so maybe my speculations will stay the same, but I would like to verbally correct that this is an asset pack, not a content creator pack. I misspoke and then went on a tangent. But this says, this asset pack has everything you need to bring life to your waterfront. Beach properties includes a vast collection of assets that makes it possible to build luxurious beach housing areas, opening new possibilities for customization of your city. And so, you know, the only word that's tripping me up is luxurious, but I still hope that we get a range of like affordable to expensive beach housing. And yeah, it's vague enough that I have no clue. Maybe what I said will come true, maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, back to the video. And also like in a similar vein, if they're gonna do boardwalks, maybe they'll release bikes alongside beach properties. But I actually think the more likely time for the bikes free update to be launched would be when Urban Promenade's content creator pack comes out in Q1 of 2024. I think that is the obvious timeline for the for the bikes to be released because if they need to be polished, the, the AI, the models or whatever it is, animations, I feel like that would be a good length of time for the studio to actually like finish developing bikes. Um, in addition, with Urban Promenades, you know, I, I guess I don't like know 100% what to expect. I, I think we're gonna get more variations of pedestrian roads. Maybe we're gonna get more variations of like what we can do with our sidewalks. I would love to see like outside of commercial, I guess like specifically restaurant buildings in our city, seeing some like outdoor seating on the sidewalk or on the street side. That would be really cool. I could see like markets maybe coming out with urban promenades. There was this really nice like mark outdoor market asset. I do think it was the Korea pack. Um, but yeah, I see something like that maybe coming with the Urban Promenades hack. But yeah, that one, I guess, is a little more ambiguous for me. I'm not exactly 100% sure what to expect for that. All right, we're back at it again with another Steam description. <laughs> for the content creator packs, this is going to apply to both Urban Promenades and Modern Architecture, so I'm not going to repeat this. It says, introducing more than 30 assets each, these packs will infuse your city with some extra personality. Crafted by two of the city skylines community's favorite creators, these packs truly highlight the talent and artistry of our modders. So yeah, that seems like vague enough that, you know, it really, it really could be anything. I still think we might get a free update with bikes alongside this, but you know what? I don't know. I'm not going to think too hard about it now. <laughs> and then also in quarter one of 2024, we get the modern architecture content creator pack. And I'm going to show you what I think that's going to be like, because to me, modern architecture is a very specific term. So I don't think it's going to be the sort of like cyberpunk type of city. So I'm thinking, probably will get some unique buildings. I think like Guggenheim Museum, Sydney Opera House, stuff like that. Maybe we will get some growables. If, if they do growables, maybe we'll get something for low density residential, kind of like bigger lots, perhaps some stations. We might be, we might be getting some public transit stations. For example, I forgot the actual name of it, but like the World Trade Center subway station, things like that. I feel like we will get in the modern architecture pack. And then with ports and bridges that launches in Q2 of 2024, for, which as I think about it is so far away, but you know what? It's fine because City Skylines 2 will be occupying all of our free time until then. So it's not like a big deal. I do think with Ports and Bridges, we're going to get a free update that includes keys and maybe canals. Although I can see canals being a part of the pack. I think with Ports and Bridges, obviously we're going to get ports and we're also going to get bridges. Um, I do think we're going to get more ship models for ferries as well as personally owned boats for citizens to use in the waterways. I definitely feel like the waterways discussion hasn't like really been that developed like we really haven't gotten that much on it but i feel like you know there's traffic on the roads and then when they talked about boats they're like oh boats will be in the waterway and then they talked about airplanes and they said airplanes will bypass road traffic and waterway traffic and then part of me feels like okay waterway traffic maybe there's more than just public transit and cargo going on and fishing that's the other thing is i think with ports and bridges we will get fishing as an industry so that's all we know from the city skyline to official website and that is correct that is all we know from the website but as y'all know we've got a steam description to read and honestly this is actually kind of good news this is what it says livelier coasts are now available with this expansion bridges and ports i'm 90 percent sure that livelier coasts 
has got to include keys. I'm like convinced now that keys are coming with this expansion, or at least with an update alongside it. It says with a new set of tools, you are now able to create a bustling port to your city and beautiful new details like draw bridges and lighthouses. We love that. With over a hundred new assets, as well as the addition of marine industries, you can expand your waterfront landscape and connect your city in exciting new ways. Now I did say we would get fishing, but marine industries definitely sounds a lot more expansive than just fishing. What could this mean? I don't know. Quite frankly, I do not know. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, but I'm excited. Wow. So now we're going to get onto the more like speculative stuff. These are all my personal ideas, things that I have come up with. This is not fully comprehensive and I'm just like picking specific ones that I feel like could bring enough with assets as well as gameplay. That's kind of like my concepts with these packs. So the first one is the winter pack. I think winter pack will introduce cable cars with multiple designs because I think we'll be getting ski slopes as a park type or like a point of interest. I also think we will get ski lodges as a hotel variation. I also think maybe ice skate rinks and hockey rinks and I think the hockey rinks would be a really cool one because we could do a events like other athletic points of interest. Also ice fishing on frozen over lakes and maybe this is like way too specific but it'd be cool to get like lakes that freeze over and then see our citizens do things. I don't feel like I necessarily have to place an asset on anything but it'd be nice to like just see people going and just doing you know. The next pack idea is the city of the future pack. Uh, so the concept here is not like cyberpunk but more like like current modern day big cities that we have of Hong Kong, Tokyo, Dubai. So I'm thinking like we'll get the monorail, we'll get lots of new high rise residential and commercial buildings, as well as in general, more globals with neon signs on the sides of the building. I think we'll get some high rise mall, unique assets, of course, other unique buildings from major global cities, super modern factories in terms of industrial. And oh, I should say with all of these packs, my hope is that they'll give us like service buildings and education, etc., like other styles of the basic need buildings. Okay, the next pack I idea is probably my favorite pack idea and ever since I posted my my original video where I mentioned this pack idea it's blown up on reddit so Y'all, if you're coming from Reddit and you're like, I read that on Reddit, it was my idea. You're welcome. It's called the Shut Down the City Pack and it would have parades, protests, races, and street fairs. And the idea behind this pack obviously is to one, create major road blockage situations that you're gonna have to just like, you know, deal, your city is gonna have to deal with for a certain amount of time and traffic is gonna have to adapt around, but as well as like maybe create more dynamics for policies, especially in regards to protests, as well as like utilizing the police officers a bit more. I'm not like a fan of police in real life, but for the sake of the game and the core mechanics of the game, it would be nice to like have more, I don't know, more conflict. I think races would just be fun to have, you know, like literally like bike races or um, literal marathons, stuff like that. Or even the F1, I think I said in my other video, just cool things that would disrupt traffic, give something visual for us to look at. They could even be scheduled, obviously not the protests, but you know, we could schedule parades or schedule races. Maybe the parades actually will just have Happen on like a quarterly basis like a new type of parade per season to align with like certain holidays I don't know and yeah the last one street fairs this wouldn't be as major of a shutdown as the rest but this would maybe take up a couple blocks of your city and this could be regular like food street fairs that you'd see in like New York City where they close off the block and it's just pedestrian traffic with food stalls maybe it could be like a farmers market thing like like once a week they shut it down and they have farmers markets I don't know but would love that this is my dream pack <laughs> and the next idea is the agriculture pack which definitely feel like this concept could be expanded more um, and I know we've had like industries in the past so this is kind of like a little bit of industries a little bit more specific but probably could be expanded on so obviously we'd get the agricultural industry buildings and like fields and stuff this is also another place I could see farmers markets coming up as like a gameplay mechanic it would also be cool to get a bunch of American like Western themed buildings like the Wild West just so we can make little suburbs that are I don't know like a little dated looking that'd be really cool I was also thinking in regards to the agricultural pack that obviously like American agricultural industry is not the only agricultural industry in the world so it would be cool to get other variations as well I don't know if it would be off the bat or in like updates but like rice patties for example or like East Asian farm themes or South American farm themes I don't know I just feel like there's lots we can do here from like a get-go what the Western theme could be cool also horses as a mode of transportation on certain roads maybe like dirt roads or cobblestone roads and like if you're in a rural enough 
area or if you're near like a farm that has horses you'll see people riding horses i don't want this to be like a form of transport that we have to manage that would be i wouldn't like that but i do just like the idea of seeing them around like kind of the same way we just see people with bikes also like on that note we could have carriage tours but i don't really know how that would work also this would be a great opportunity to have some sort of horse race track it would be the same thing as all the other athletic point of interest where we could have races occur um, and generate income and generate traffic okay the next pack is kind of the same thing i know we've had similar dlcs so this probably can be expanded on but i see a green cities pack in our future again with trolley buses eco-friendly buildings rent a bikes city bikes maybe scooter idea i don't really like scooters in like real in real life i feel like they're just so messy compared to the bikes because bikes actually have the stations but i do think a rent a bike mechanic would be really cool for the city we could set up stations around the city it will generate income it would encourage people to use bikes over walking or other sorts of transit uh, driving of course so i think that would be pretty unique of course we'll get like some industry power options like solar panels windmill farms i also think possibly my best idea is for this pack to come with citizens with a preference to be environmentally friendly i feel like with the preference and comfort options all these different things that are now factored in to how a citizen decides like what where they want to go what they want to do environmentally friendly would be such a cool trait to have we're gonna see certain citizens that will just never drive <laughs> that are only gonna walk only take a bike only take public transit and then when they take public transit they might only take specific types of transit like trolley buses or trams instead of regular buses, right? I could also see this affecting what neighborhoods they might wanna live in. So it could just be a matter of certain policies affect where they wanna move, or it could be that we have populated a neighborhood with eco-friendly buildings. And so they're gonna wanna just move to the eco-friendly neighborhood. I don't know. I just think that would be such a cool idea. And obviously like with this gameplay mechanic, I definitely can see it being expanded in other ways. Okay, this last one also is like kind of a shallow concept in the sense that like, I didn't know where else to go with it, but I have like a couple new ideas akin to the park expansion that we had for city skylines one i would love to see another park life expansion it would come with more detail options for city parks because i think we get city parks on launch obviously we'd also get national parks and amusement parks and zoos but how cool would it be if we could also design our own dog parks playgrounds and botanical gardens i forgot to mention this but another part of the parks pack was golf courses i think that would just make so much sense as another type of park that we could add to our city and it was so lacking in city skylines one we never got a golf course i'm actually like most excited about botanical gardens also it'd be cool if cemeteries could maybe count it as parks or if we could have larger cemetery lots that we design and turn into parks that people could visit maybe they're still active cemeteries like they still do the service that we need to do in the city but they are also parks i don't know it would just be nice to have people visiting cemeteries more and also just in general just having more like public spaces for people to walk around and finally i would like to talk about how themes will work in city skylines too we don't have a lot of information on this so again this is mostly my speculation but i'm expecting full sets of growable buildings between all densities of residential commercial and industrial types i think obviously unique buildings and landmarks are going to come with themes bridges and road styles road styles is like a little bit harder but it would be cool if we could get variation with that i definitely think that like all service building styles are going to get variations for different themes so hospitals police fire schools cemeteries transit depots transit stations i feel like we're going to get variations for all themes unique models for transit including public transit vehicles and private like cars trucks boats so obviously trains buses we're going to get new models for also kind of like maybe a forgotten thing it would be cool to get fashion styles and additional citizen models obviously we would hope that they're going to launch with kind of like diverse citizen appearances but i do feel like fashion is like very unique among cultures so I feel like even if we have diversity and ethnicity among the citizen models already, it would be great to get some fashion styles with the themes that we have. And the last and final point is that I think that themes will upgrade with all DLC. And what I mean to say is that I think we're going to get expansion packs. And like, let's say the winter pack, for example, maybe we get the Japan theme later on and then they'll add in some sort of like specific Japan winter themed lot that we now have because we also have the winter DLC. I know I keep calling it winter DLC. I know there's weather in City Skylines too, y'all. Like I'm very aware there's weather. So again, I'm talking about like the activities concept from early in the video. I feel like because the way 
the game appears to be so far with all of the buildings being modular i just can see how our dlc will also be modular you know so like like why would we want a theme but only get growable buildings and not also like styles for all of our transit styles for our industries you know what i mean and so here are the themes that i think they could release and i was kind of struggling because i know right now we have usa and we have european and like usa is one country and then european is a bunch of countries right so it's kind of just like will the themes be countries will they be regions i don't know so i do have a mix of concepts um based on what we previously had and of course like what i would like to see so of course japan korea china i feel like each of them is distinct enough from the last that it would maybe make sense to have them be separate themes i'd love to see latin american buildings middle eastern buildings mediterranean and i guess i'm thinking more of like the stucco architecture from like greece african style buildings will be great as well as well as like kind of like down under like australian outback style buildings indian and pacific islander both could be really cool themes as well it's kind of like hard because you don't want to leave anyone out so i try to like come up with the ones that are like the most distinct but obviously I missed a lot. So let me know what else you would love to see in terms of themes, because if you live somewhere with very distinct architecture, I'm sure you'd love to be represented in City Skylines too. But yeah, that's all I've got for today. But I, y'all, I'm so excited. I hope you like these ideas. Again, if you have any of your own ideas, feel free to comment them down below. Hopefully Colossal Order sees this video. They have seen a couple of my previous videos, which is like super cool of them. I love you guys. And if you see these ideas, I don't know. If you want to talk, just let me know because I have so many. Thanks for watching. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I've been releasing a video every single week. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.